Hello, this is Dr. Eric Bricker, and thank you for watching A Healthcare Z. Today's topic is Blue Cross admits that value payments are really mostly fee for service. Now, this gets back to a prior video that I did around how value based payments and contracts by carriers with hospitals are actually not real, or they're not as they are quote unquote advertised. And I now have the proof. I have the smoking gun and I will give it to you today. So at this Health HLTH conference that has been in its second year, that is, was in Las Vegas just like a month ago, they have a ton of videos from the sessions on YouTube. And these videos are awesome. Like I highly encourage you to watch them because like the view count is super low. So like almost nobody has watched these things and it will give you a tremendous amount of insight. Now, I have no connection to this conference, by the way. Okay, now, there is an interview with Gail Boudreau, who is the CEO of Anthem, and there is an interview, the same, it's a panel, and it also has Pam Cahaley in it, who is the CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona, and it's awesome. And in it, uh, Pam Cahaley specifically says that, look, 50% of our hospital contracts are value-based. And we like to toot our horn about that. All the other carriers like to toot our horn about that. But it's hard to feel good about that when only 10% of the money of the payments in those value-based contracts are actually value-based. The rest is fee-for-service. That's right. She just admitted that 90% of the money in a quote-unquote value-based contract it's fee for service. So, and keep in mind, that's only in like half of their contracts. So half of their contracts have 10% of the money based in, in quote unquote value. That means half the contracts have zero based in quote unquote value, and the vast majority of the money is not in value at all. So you can't even call that a value, I mean, how can you even call that a value based contract? It is a fee for service contract, which oh by the way, has got like this little bit of value in it. Okay, that's what it is. All right, now, why is this? Is it because Blue Cross didn't want to do more than 10%? No, Blue Cross, I'm sure, wanted to do 100% of the money being value. Here's why they couldn't get it. Because the hospitals don't want value-based payments. The hospitals don't want it. Keep in mind, Blue Cross is by far the largest, Blue Cross Association, you add them up all together, is by far the largest insurance carrier in America. Much larger than United, Aetna, or Cigna. Much, 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 much larger. They carry the biggest stick as it is regards to negotiations. And even they could not get more than 10% of the money based on quote unquote value because the hospitals don't want it. They don't want it. And of course they don't want it because value based payments or what is sometimes referred to as fee for value, which is really an ACS, we use these euphemisms, is it is irrational for a hospital to want this because they lose so much money on their Medicare and their self-pay patients and their Medicaid patients that they want to make as much money as humanly possible from their commercial insurance contracts, and they don't want any of that tied to value. They want as much of that tied to fee-for-service as possible, and they want to do as many services as possible for those commercially insured patients to make up for the hemorrhaging of money for the Medicare and Medicaid and self-pay folks. Like, that's how it works. And any other, if a hospital ever claims they want to do value-based payments, I highly question that. I highly question that. Because the economics just doesn't work. It doesn't work. If they if they move to 100% value based, like the hospital would probably go out of business. Okay, that's just my opinion. But the hospital would probably go out of business. They don't want it. So anytime you hear value based payment, ACO, fee for value, I want you to have a huge heaping spoonful, bucket full, shovel full, caterpillar, backhoe full of skepticism about that because you got to look at the incentives and the incentives just do not justify it. And that's my point for today. Thank you for watching A Healthcare Z.